Hi, everybody. Well, the fog here might be an indication. We're about an hour north of San Francisco. This is Point Reyes National Seashore. I swear the ocean's back there behind the fog. Uh, listen, it's summertime. I'm in a sweatshirt. It feels great. Uh, I'm going to let the fog lift, and we'll show you around. From the foggy Golden Gate Bridge, Point Reyes National Seashore is just about an hour or two north of San Francisco, depending on traffic. You'll pass crowded California beaches along the way, which are great, but if you're looking for something more peaceful, Point Reyes is an ideal destination made of a number of hiking trails, beaches, and other sights to see. Right down at the end of this beach, you can see what I would consider to be the gem of Point Reyes, Alamir Falls, a rare coastal waterfall where a stream literally falls right off a cliff down the beach and into the Pacific Ocean. It does take some work to get here. It's about a six mile hike through towering forests and along coastal cliffs, but it's manageable for most people, including seniors and kids, and it's worth it for a site as unique as this. And the waterfall is one of several favorite sites for photographers at Point Reyes. This one's seen better days, an old shipwreck that's been around for years. Its days are numbered thanks to one photographer who accidentally lit the boat on fire while using pyrotechnics for his shot. A much better spot would be the Cypress Tree Tunnel, a famous half-mile walk through towering old trees with limbs twisted over time from coastal winds. History buffs can check out the old Morse code station built here a century ago to send radio signals across the Pacific. The wires are still running down to the beach today. And the beaches at Point Reyes are another draw, just not for swimming. Here's one of the reasons why, washed up on the beach. And in addition to the jellyfish and the sharks, the currents are dangerous here and the water is only about 50 degrees. But you will find interesting rock formations, wildflowers growing along the cliffs above the beaches, and a dog beach too, which was a favorite of mine. The dogs, though, are kept away from the marine residents of this national seashore. Elephant seals and sea lions, which I promise are just down there beyond the fog. You can check them out from lookouts, but people are prevented by law from getting too close. Now, you can always find a flight deal on one of the airlines from Phoenix up to San Francisco. And when you're here, you will have to pay California prices when it comes to food and lodging. But admission to the park here, absolutely free and no reservations needed. I'll see you next time.